Hi, grade two. I have a book called um, Caterpillar to Butterfly, written by Lisa Harrington, and it's a Scholastic published by Scholastic. Um, I'm not going to read the whole book. I just want to point out a few things in the book that relate to what we're learning. Um, so on this page here, you can see the parts of a butterfly. So we've been learning about that insects have three parts of their body. So they have their head, their thorax, and their abdomen. Okay. Butterflies have wings, and you can also see here that they have antennae um, and six legs. Okay, the legs come from their thorax. So we've been talking about animal body parts. Um, I also wanted to point out um, some of the things that the butterfly needs in its environment or its habitat in order to survive. Okay, so once the butterfly egg, uh, once the um, butterfly lays its eggs on a leaf, then it hatches, okay? And once it hatches, it needs to start eating. And so the butterfly always lays the eggs on a leaf so that as soon as the caterpillar hatches, it can start eating, okay? Um, but the first thing it eats is its own shell. So... Um, something that caterpillars need to survive is food, of course, okay? So it eats lots and lots of leaves in order to grow. So that's something caterpillars need to survive. They need food. So they need um, leaves in their habitat. And as that caterpillar grows, it starts to shed its skin, and that's called molting, okay? So the old skin comes off, and there's new, fresh, larger skin underneath. Um, the other thing you'll notice is sometimes they'll have very bright colors and that's an adaptation that they have in order to help them to survive because in the wild bright colors can sometimes signal to predators don't eat me I could be poisonous okay so those bright colors sometimes indicate to warn other animals don't eat me I could be poisonous so sometimes you'll see very bright colors and so that's another adaptation um, that they have that helps them to survive after um, it uh, sheds its skin several times, the final time that it sheds its, its skin, um, it's hard, a hard shell is underneath called a chrysalis, okay? So again, it needs something in its environment that it can kind of build that um, little button there that basically holds it to the tree. And then it just stays inside there for about two weeks, okay? And... Um, its process that it's going undergoing is called metamorphosis. Now, you can see the growth here as it slowly comes out, okay, the butterfly, and then it just hangs there while its wings dry. So, again, it, in order to undergo that metamorphosis, it needs that adaptation of being able to shed its skin, and the final time it's a chrysalis underneath, and that's, again, something that helps, an adaptation that helps it survive in the wild, okay? So it can't fly with those wet wings, so it's waiting for them to dry. But it just, just takes a couple of hours. Um, and then we look more at what does the butterfly need to survive? What kind of things would be in a butterfly's habitat? I'm sure you can think of one right here. The monarch um, spends most of its time feeding on flowers, Okay. Um, a butterfly does not have teeth, so in order to, it needs to eat in order to survive, and so it has um, a long tube, almost like a straw, that comes out of its mouth. Okay, it's called a proboscis, and that's what it uses to suck up the nectar. So in order to survive, a butterfly needs nectar, um, so that it has energy, similar to another. Um, insect we learned about bumblebees they need nectar as well um, and then the butterfly will lay eggs and the life cycle will begin again so you can see here there went from an egg to caterpillar the chrysalis and then the butterfly so that's called the life cycle um, but the last thing I wanted to read to you about is the food chain okay so it says uh, living things depend on each other to survive. Butterflies get their food from flowers. Butterflies also become food from birds, mice, insects, and other creatures. Okay, so a butterfly's predators are birds, 
birds eat butterflies, mice eat butterflies, insects eat butterflies. These creatures need food as they move through their own life cycle. So this is called a food chain. So if you look here, we have flowers, okay? Um, a flower blooms. Then the butterfly, like a monarch butterfly, feeds off of the flower. And then birds, certain kinds of birds, will eat the butterfly. And so that is a food chain. Okay, so we've got a plant, something that eats that plant, and that, which is the butterfly, and then we have the bird that will eat the butterfly. Okay, so everything in nature is kind of part of a food chain. So that's what I wanted to read to you or share with you from this book. Bye.